Justin Verlander and Max Scherzer. And um, I had tweeted this the other day that the reality is they're paying these guys $86 million a year to head this rotation to be aces, and neither of them have pitched like aces. They're supposed to stop potential losing streaks. They have not stopped potential losing streaks. So where do you stand right now on Verlander and Scherzer and certainly uh, dating back to the last start? So here's what I'll say. I think the past month of Scherzer we've seen has been a much better version, something he can build on. The fastball looks like it's back. You know, we saw his start in Colorado where he really mixed in the curveball. Looks like he has a better command of his arsenal. I think against the Braves, the first five innings were great, and he got knocked around and it kind of ruined his entire line. But at the same time, you want Scherzer to get through that sixth inning, so it's still a disappointing start. For Verlander, the only thing that I've really enjoyed this season so far from him has been his accountability. He knows that he's pitching poorly, and he knows that he needs to, to do better. And that at least is some form of comfort to Mets fans to know that this guy isn't just coasting in his age 40 season. He still wants to win. But he's got to go out there and do it. And he's on a big stage uh, tomorrow night against Garrett Cole in what could be a series-winning deciding game for the Mets. Uh, but I'm disappointed with both of them because this team really goes when they go, as the lineup does with Lindor and Alonso. And without Alonzo, without the best bat in your lineup, you really need a strong outing every fifth day from both of these guys if you're going to have a chance of turning this month around. And it's got to start here. This is a big series.